This island here represents no man's land and every man's land. It rep represents to the uh, to the Indians a place, a sounding board where they can get the attention of the public, they get the attention of the press, uh, and get the attention of government officials. Here. Within the first year of our planning, for the first four months, we will finalize the funding angles. This island is in the foulest weather spot of the Bay Area. It's always a few degrees colder or windier or foggier than any place else. Just a place for a park. I think it is something very good that our young people have taken over, uh, even if it's only this little place. There's a tendency in some of the stories that have been done about this to, to make light of it, the pale face and the red man against each other again. Well, I think that's an old sense of humor or, or, or sarcastic sense of humor. I don't think much of a man that makes fun of something that's serious, something that we're trying to do. We're trying to hang on to our culture, to our religion, to be Indians. Everybody on this island thought of little else except getting off. Times change. Now, nobody wants to leave. <laughs> 